Next call. Uh, Aldo. This one. Aldo. Great. There you go. I got it. Sup, Aldo? Oh, shit. Wow. I know. It's uh, weird. You call and we answer. It's where he uh, didn't know. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I had a question. Uh, recently, you know, when it's late at night, I like watching uh, old archives of your podcast, so... I just figured uh, it, it, my favorite ones are the ones when you guys go into like ghost stories and like paranormal stuff. So I was just wondering, you know, it, it's been a while since you guys talked about that. If you guys came across anything cool like that, anything creepy. Dude, should we tell know? some recent ghost stories? Recent ghost stories. Do you guys have any recent paranormal? I remember we used to talk a lot about that kind of stuff. Because it was happening to us. We were getting spooked and scared out in the city at night. I got chased up my driveway by what I think... Was it a coyote? Was it a werewolf? Could have been some type you of... You live in werewolf territory. I definitely do live in werewolf territory. That in New Mexico. You know uh, what's scarier uh, than ghosts? What's that? And vampires and werewolves? Homeless people. Like real dirty ones or what? You laugh, but let me tell you, when you walk into a wooded area, you're not going to find a fucking werewolf. <laughs> You're gonna fuck. You're gonna find some fucking crazy ass homeless dude shanty. That's the real terror out there. Shanty town. I parked my car uh, a few, eh, maybe like last week or something. I just wanted to go on an adventure. I was bored. I wanted to find some wilderness and walk into it. Do you remember there's an old skate park like off of the eight around here? Um, the eight freeway. Yeah, the eight. It's not there anymore. The skate park. park. Yeah, it used to have yeah. all these wooden half pipes in it and okay. stuff. I drove over to the lot that that used to be buried on. It's all like overgrown There's forest weeds now. Through it, right? Yeah, and it connects to the San Diego River. So I parked my car there, and I just wanted to explore. I was walking around, and I walked. I found this like concrete dirt path, a uh, concrete dirt path, a concrete small road, like not big enough for a car, kind of just like a walking trail in the middle of nowhere. And I was exploring it, and slowly I started seeing like shopping carts collected all over the place and i was like oh cool like maybe there's some i don't know old buildings around here to explore <laughs> and then i started seeing like a pair of pants on the floor oh trash and then it was like really elaborate like housing situation sleeping uh. bags tents set up and suddenly i was like deep in the floor and i had like walked into the lion's den it's like this trail had led into the middle of this area and i was just there was a circle of like camps set up all around me. You were in the square, their their little community, I like walked, town square. I walked into, that's what I felt like. <laughs> town square of this community in the middle of the forest. Uh -oh. I got scared. I booked it. I ran away. Yeah. So You don't look like you're from around here. Son. That's, that's my latest ghost story. I was driving awesome. home from the podcast late at night last uh -huh. week. And I saw what I thought was a coyote running up my driveway. But it was really dark. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, that coyote's just out in the middle of the driveway. Okay. I'm going to haul ass and get a good look at him. So I turn on my brights and I start to go faster. He had outrun me and kind of ditched into some bushes. So I just drove past, went home, uh -huh. kind of forgot about it. But as I was collecting my things, getting out of the car, I'm like making dog call noises and shit. Just like. <laughs> Like, uh, you know, I would mm -hmm, with yeah. the door open, you know, I'm, I'm, my, my torso's in the car collecting my things, but I'm going, rawr, rawr, rawr. and then I start to kind of spook myself like, oh, what if he actually does like start walking up my driveway? So then I've got all my shit and I lock my door and now I'm walking up to the house, but I'm walking backwards because I've fully scared myself and I start to see two fucking eyes that are just the glowing reflections of my porch light yeah. coming up the driveway, but like 30 feet away from me and then like stopping and staying in the fucking darkness. So then I like clearly see the outline of this coyote, which looks, you know, not huge, but he's fucking facing off with me and my <coughs> house is locked and my hands oh, are full. No. And now I'm like regretting making all the noises. So I start to stomp my feet and go, Ah, I see you, dog. That was what I said to him. Talking to the animals. Talking to the animals. Normal. It doesn't fucking phase it. It still just is like stationary. And um, I, I slowly backed in, unlocked the door, went to the house. But then uh, had nightmares uh, for the rest of that night and kept yeah. cautiously poking my head out the windows to see if he was still stalking me. Scary.
scary stuff. Scary. Real life is scarier than yeah. ghosts, I found out. While I was exploring the hobo camp at one point, I stepped in what I thought might be poison ivy. Not sure. Whipped out my phone. I was going to look it up. The true woodsman that I am, I'm yeah. standing your phone in what could potentially be poison ivy on my phone in the middle of the wilderness trying to Google search what poison ivy looks like. Oh, fuck. Instead of oh, getting man, out of the plant. Instead ivy? of, honestly, I was so dumb. Instead of getting out of the fucking plant, I'm there like, what is, oh, I hope this isn't poison ivy. Let oh, me let me look at this. And I'm doing this for so long. Looking down. And, and then I realize, like, I look at my hand and there's, like, a bunch of mosquitoes on my hand oh. biting me. And then I'm just like, ah! Oh, was that a mosquito? <laughs> <laughs> and then I start looking up, uh... West Nile virus, because I know in San Diego, they claim that mosquitoes Dude. may carry West Nile virus. Even so, Zika. Yeah, now I'm haunted by the potential of fucking West Nile and Zika. Fuck. Ghost, Your life is scary. The ghosts of disease. Take, let that sit in. Anyways, <clears throat> all right. I know. I'm lame. I hope I that haunted it, yeah. your... Uh, Maybe. I don't know, because uh, it's not late that night, and I'm here with, like... Bright lights, but you know it's interesting to hear. I guess yeah. Well, yeah, hey, turn you know them off. No, he said that <laughs> later he listens to it at night and just like in yeah. six months when this is archived, you just listen exactly. to it then late at night. I see that actually catch, real quick. Sorry. Catch your hair sticking up. Like um, that. one of your uh, I don't know if you noticed, but one of your figures behind you is like falling off. You see that? Yeah, because. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit I wanted to do. Uh, 